Hi, I'm Chef Dex. Today you're with me coming live from the Mount. I don't know if it started on time, we're going to start again, but I'm Chef Dennis, and we're coming. Where's that? Hold on a second. I wasn't in there. No. Come your chest out. Yes. Uh, that's what happens with live TV. All right. We're going to start again. You know me, I'm Chef Dennis, and today we're coming live from the Mount. We'll hear a little noise. We are in a working kitchen. We have most of the equipment off, but you never know what you're going to see or hear in here. And uh, today, this month is National Nutrition Month. So Google asked us to come up with some healthy recipes. And two of my culinary students are going to prepare two of our favorite dishes for you today. So I'm going to introduce the first one, Dominique, and she's going to tell you what she's going to make and show you exactly how to make one of her favorite chocolate cupcakes. I'm Dominique, and as Devin said, I'm making my favorite chocolate olive oil cupcakes. I'm a senior at Mount St. Joseph Academy. And first, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Next, we're going to add in all of our dry ingredients. We have flour, the cocoa powder, the sugar, and then the salt and the baking soda. And first, you're just going to mix them up all together. So it looks nice and blended. And then we're going to add in all of our wet ingredients. And here we have cold water. Some olive oil. Then you just want to mix this so that it doesn't have any chunks, that it's just nice and blended. I'm just going to scrape it to make sure I got everything. And then you just pour the batter into your favorite cupcake pan. And then when they're done, they should look like this. And they should bake for about 20 minutes, and then they're delicious. Thank you very much, Dominic. That was wonderful. These are really good cupcakes. If you ever have a chance, try them. The recipe is live. It's on uh, in the, the bed itself, so you can get it and try them out. It's actually a vegan recipe, and uh, probably the best chocolate cake I've made. So now we're going to bring on one of my other students, and she's going to show you one of our favorite salads that we put on our salad bar. We're really big on grains, and we like to uh, do vulgar wheat from time to time. Make tulips. Here's Gabrielle. Hi, I'm Gabrielle. Today we're going to be making tulips. I'm going to tulips. We boil water first, and then we pour the water over vulgar wheat which sits for about an hour, and when, after that, it we drain it and push out the excess water. Um, so after that process, the vulgar beet will take this, and we can kind of fluff it up a bit. Um, the reason we put boiling water over it is so that it will be fluffy and not very dense. Um, so first, we're going to take mint and parsley, and you can put this in a food processor, and it will come out very fine. And that will be the first ingredient that we add to our vulgar beet. And I personally like a lot of mint in my tulle. I think it adds a really nice fresh flavor to the dish. So next we'll add the scallions, which you can uh, chop up very finely, and we'll add those in. And then the shredded carrots. We'll mix all that in together. 
And then we add a series of liquids to this to add extra flavor. And the first that we add in is lemon juice, olive oil, and you can add all of these to taste. And we'll add a little bit of balsamic vinegar to mix this in. salt and pepper to taste. Okay, now we can mix it up very well. And you can also add some diced tomatoes to this to add a little bit more of a summery feel and for color as well. Um, and chopped cucumbers work very nicely instead of carrots. Um, and that just gives uh, some variation in color to the dish. So uh, our finished product looks like this. All right, great job. Thank you very much. Girls, you want to back over here? Thank you. All right, I want to thank you all for coming today and uh, giving some two of my favorite culinary students. They've been with me for four years now, so they're going to be leaving when they graduate this year. Uh, but they did a great job making dishes for you today, showing you how you can be healthy and still eat well. Those cupcakes are a testament to this, you know, just by themselves. But there's a nice grain salad. If you haven't tried grain, it's a good way to get it in. You can use it in a wrap. You can use it just as a salad. You can add it to other salad ingredients. All right, so thanks. Uh, we're coming live from the mouth, and thank you for stopping by. Today. See you all later.